All right. I'm going to be playing through Metroid. Very first game in the series. It has been a very, 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 very long time since I last played this. So I'm going to try my best to go for the best ending. Because I know I'm capable of it. It's just a question of whether or not I remember the path I used to take. And, uh... If I'm also good enough. <laughs> which is a whole other thing. Um, so there might be a couple of resets if I die. But if I get it correct, it takes about an hour. About an hour, roughly. And, uh... Well, we'll get to it. Alright, wish me luck. But, you know... The path... There's a couple of crucial points at the start where... Things can go wrong very early. And, uh... Sometimes it's beyond your control, it's just RNG at the end of the day. It's like, the game can fuck you over, basically. So let's hope that doesn't happen, but otherwise, like... If I get past this early thing... Then we don't have to worry for like... 20 or so minutes, pretty much, until the next thing. And then if I get past that, then... Don't have to worry until the end, so... I'm not gonna, like, do this super fast, but still have to get this done in under an hour, so. I just figure if I'm gonna play the other games in the series, it's nice to see, like, the humble origins of this. I think this game is fun. It does have its flaws in the sense of, like, um, it doesn't have a map, so, you know... Unless you memorize where you're going, <laughs> it's it's a bit of a yeah, a bit of a pain. But you know, it's fun. I just find it funny that you know this does reveal that Samus is a woman. That's what the best ending does. It's just I don't think a lot of people got it, so people were surprised to learn that later. So far, so good. But yeah, I mean, if you want to experience from a story perspective... Um, ...what this game does... It got remade. Uh, it was Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance, so... That's the definitive way of experiencing, you know, this particular world. Which I'll probably do later at some point, but... I was in the mood to try this. It's, it's been a while. But this was one of the first difficult NES games that I was like, okay, I want to learn how to finish this. So as a teenager, I did. <laughs> I'll be really happy if I can just do this with minimal uh, error, you know? That'd be great. So, I mean, the path I'm taking is the one that doesn't involve death. And you get every power up, more or less. Um, you do have to perform some tricky maneuvers to perform... It's almost like a sequence break, but people do it. It's, it's nothing special. I'm not doing some of the insane speedrun stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, can breathe a little easy now. More health. That's the worst part about the start of this game, is just you, you have no health. The default is, is 30 health. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many energy tanks you have. Death in this game is brutal. Because you have to grind to uh, heal back up. See if this first part of RNG doesn't fuck me up. I need five missiles again. <laughs> it's a random drop, so it's like kill stuff and hopefully I get five pretty quickly. It's being annoying. <laughs> as long as it doesn't kill like five minutes, it's fine. Okay, there we go, there we go. It's fine. Okay, one more. I don't have to get it now, but it usually helps to get it now. See, I've, I've forgotten already. <laughs> no, it's been a long time. How dare I get that wrong? Oh, no, it's being a dick. Doesn't want to give me the rockets. Come on. Don't, don't make me grind this out, please. gonna make me grind it out. Dude, please, I <laughs> have time for this. I, I have under an hour to beat this. This is what I mean, it's just RNG fucking me over. I have no control over this, this is not skill, this is just like... I just gotta hope. Really? Come on, man. Come on! <laughs> I don't have time to do this. I really don't want to restart because of this, but... Oh, there we go. Alright, alright. That wasn't too bad. Was not good, but it could have been worse. Okay. Now, the next part is the part where it's going to be either... Everything is okay, smooth sailing, or I have to restart. <laughs> there is no in between. <sighs> oh, my God, I can't do the jump. There we go. Hmm. 
Okay, so <laughs> this is the room. If the game has fucked me over, it won't spawn an enemy. Which makes it basically near impossible to get up here. Okay, it spawned it. Good. But it's still tricky to do. Damn it. Oh, got in my way. Fuck, too early. Oh. Okay, try again, try again. It's okay to fail as long as I get there in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, that's better. Alright, we're good. Smooth sailing so far. Not amazing, but that was probably one of the hardest things I, ha I have to do. I just want the good ending. I don't I don't particularly want to rush too bad. The last tricky maneuver I have to do, but it's not life or death, it's just I gotta do it quickly. Not this. Come on, man. There we go, okay. I haven't done it in such a long time, hang on. Got the timing wrong. There we go. Nice! Alright. <laughs> okay, smooth sailing now. I did all the hard shit first try. Good. Yeah, legit, because you don't have high jump at that point, so that's like a little trick to make Samus jump pretty high. So it's, it's sequence breaking to some degree. But it just means, yeah, now I have this, this suit and life is good. In a reasonable time as well. I think... Uh, hopefully the time it took me to find those rockets isn't gonna... impact too much, but we'll see. That's the only part that unfortunately was not ideal, but it was beyond my control. The game was like, nah, you, you don't need rockets. What are you, what are you trying to do here? To just collect rockets as I go. Like I know this is not ideal for speed, but there's there's some wiggle room. I just find that overall, like if you have rockets, you can take down the bosses quicker. 
instead of having to rely on the shooting. Okay. First section out of the way. Okay, let's see if I remember all this. Because <laughs> this is... This is a bit of a process, this area, to get everything. Oh shit. That's, that's a little scary. I guess we'll see how we go. I think I have to play a little more carefully. And try and get some health back. Just... I just have to play like this. <laughs> I don't usually play this passive, but I think I have to. I just I, I lost too much health. It's okay, I was playing Wario Land before. Oh, asshole. It was preparing me for the platforming. <laughs> there are no disappearing block puzzles in this game. There are disappearing... No, there are blocks that reappear, I should say. But that's a completely different matter. stupid. Okay, get health. I think that balances it out. Oh, this is why this suit is invaluable. things. Stop. Still okay-ish. <laughs> I'm worried about my health. It might be a bit lower. I just need to survive until I get the screw attack. And then I'll be fine. That's when I can unclench a little.
I mean, so far I haven't... I haven't gone down the wrong path, I don't think. Oh my god. Alright, that also works. It's a little obnoxious, not gonna lie. There we go. <laughs> Just a couple more rooms. <laughs> Just gotta get through this room here. Oh, you asshole, no. Oh. I might have to hang here for just a minute. Come on. I just don't want to be, like, too close to death. <sighs> I am a little rusty. I used to be able to do that high jump thing, like, pretty much on command, so. It looks like I'm getting it a third of the time, which, you know what, given I haven't done that in a very long time, that's not too bad. <laughs> it would have been way worse if I tried to do this and then just failed at the first attempt of doing that jump. Alright, but now we have this, so this will make life good. Collide with stuff and kill it. To practice doing the like, jump when you're get it out of ball form because there are a couple of times where I'll have to do that. Okay. Now I can be less concerned. Now I have a nice solid amount of health. It's weird how this goes. It, it goes from like 
being extremely concerned. Where just the slightest thing could mess you up to. Okay, now, now we're cruising. It'll stay like that for a while and then... When I get closer to the end, that's when it's gonna suck again. <laughs> Especially the ending. This game has one of the most obnoxious final fights in my opinion. I hate it. And there could be a chance where I reach the end and then I fuck it up and then I, I have to do the whole thing again because... It just pretty much kills the chance of finishing this in under an hour. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. But he, I, I think my success rate with the ending is, is, uh, is flaky. Let's put it that way. I'm confident I can do it, but there is the chance where I, I could mess it up. Just because of how annoying it is. And you'll see what I mean. Like, I don't think it's a skill thing. It's just genuinely the fight is frustrating. In the true spirit of NES games. A bit worried I was heading in the wrong direction, but it's okay. I think I think this is correct. I think there was another rocket here, right? No. Oh, no, there is. Okay. Always have to double check. This one is at the end, right? Yeah. Okay. save me like three whole seconds but you never know it could be the difference This is the closest you'll see me to speedrunning a game. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, this might be the room I was thinking of that doesn't have a second one. Alright. Yeah, okay. Didn't fall into the pit, yeah. I 
feel like sometimes it's just quicker to do that. Except here you don't have a choice. Is this the room? Yeah, it should be. I want that. Give me that. Oh, I'm already at max. Never mind. This was the one sad thing about this game, is it didn't let you freely swap between the two uh, guns once you got them. I have to go get the Ice Beam again at some point. Because I don't think it's possible to finish the game with this beam, it's, it's like, just straight up you can't. I might be wrong, but... I mean, maybe there's a way, it's just really difficult. I just find it easier to beat one of the bosses with this. Ah, oh, piss off. jump. It wasn't a good jump, but still worked. I'm actually pretty happy about how this is going. Honestly, was expecting more of a disaster. Especially the start of it. I was expecting at least a couple resets. Oh, to almost, to be honest, I thought I would have to abandon this, like, this particular route and just do the one where you just die on purpose and go the, uh, the other way. Like, do the easy stage first. I suppose the intended way. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Good, good, good platforming. I think this area vibe is pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I mean, the game is a bit much for the NES. It does struggle <laughs> at times. You can see. 
the frame rate dropping when there's too many enemies on screen. There's also visual glitches if you move through this too quickly. The colors get a little messed up. Alright, phase three. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna mess up this part. Not this part, but like, next room. There's an energy tank and there's a hole in the ground, and I just hope... Oh god. I can remember where the energy tank is. I mean, where the hole in the ground is. Otherwise, I'm falling and I probably won't be able to get the energy tank. Or I restart. <laughs> if I really, really want to 100% it. Maybe I should have looked that up before I start. Uh, you know, it's not important. I'll just go by muscle memory. I'm sure it'll be fine. Trust your instincts. It works with. It worked with Donkey Kong Country Three. I did really well in that. These are the kind of games that Nintendo were able to sell strategy guides to. Because it's just no way... I mean, I'm sure you could figure it out eventually. But just how long would it take for someone to figure this out within reason? This is definitely not my doing. Like, a lot of this came from strategy guides and then later videos. In the early days of the internet. <laughs> or YouTube, I should say. Ah, oh, fuck this part. Alright. Oh, alright. I was afraid I was gonna mess that up. It's okay. That jump is more annoying than you would think. You hit your head on the ceiling, you fall, and then you have to climb back up, go all the way back through that path I did, and then try again. It's like a massive time killer. But I did it. So really now there's just one more section that could kill my time. It's not here, thankfully. Aside from the end, of course, but that's... You know, that's the end. Okay. Yep, I got unlucky. I don't know how this works, but you can get into a scenario where he doesn't he shoots the fireballs over you constantly. And it's not like it's not like this in the slightest. Alright, that wasn't great. <laughs> 
that's dead. That's first boss down. There's only two bosses. Well, three if you count the last one. I see I see the last boss as a room. You're fighting a room. You're not fighting a boss at all. This game is one of the early Nintendo games, so it's just... I think this sort of stuff they, they wouldn't have really cared too much about. Because, I mean, at the time, I'm sure this would have been, like, incredible looking compared to, say, the old Atari shit. People would have overlooked uh, the frame rate thing. It's amazing, again, just how much muscle memory has come with this. Just, just like with Donkey Kong Country 3. This room? No, okay. Oh. I was gonna say. Okay. Oh shit, I did forget something. Not here. It's okay. It doesn't affect anything. I did forget something. I can still get it, it's fine. There's a couple of rooms I forgot about, but it's fine. They're thankfully on the way out, so. Right, cool. Very happy with how this is going. <laughs> That's annoying. Slow the game down.
Ah, oh, shit, right. Oops. That's okay. That's right. <laughs> okay. I did... The three of these rooms look exactly the same. I'm at some point I'll play Super Metroid because I haven't really ever played that properly. But I don't expect to do what I'm doing here. <laughs> to try and get the best ending on that one. I mean I guess I'm, unless I learn the path beforehand, but then it would be a little spoil- but, uh, I guess it's not spoilery because I have seen the end to Super Metroid. I watched a friend play it when I was a kid, so... I know what- I know what it looks like. It's just... Hmm. I'll consider it. But that one- yeah, look, visual glitch. But that one I feel like... That's more nightmarish because it's like several hours. This is just an hour, so it's it's fine. So hopefully it, there's more leeway in that one. I don't know. Anyway, got the ice back. That's pretty much the purpose of that room, it's just to get that back. I don't know how that hit me. Okay, so this is what I forgot. But I think it's still fine, because if I would have gone down this way in the first place, I would have gone to the right? I don't know. But I was supposed to come down this side. Because there's a couple of rockets here. I completely forgot about them.
Oh, that was it. Okay. Hmm, you know what? I mean, I'm sure I could have done it back in the day, but now that I look at it, this was probably a blessing in disguise. Because I wouldn't have the high jump or the screw attack. So it would have made this a little reliant on the ice beam. I would have had to have played more carefully. Two-thirds of the way, I think. Give or take. It's, that's the longest section. The next section is nowhere near as long. Unless I fuck up. Don't mess up. I'll try. I am going to try my hardest, because I would be really happy if what I end up with is just me playing through this. And uh, it's like a very clean finale, you know? Get the best ending. Didn't have to dick around and restart the game. That would be great. Unfortunately, that's what you have to do if you mess up. There's there's not much wiggle room. That's why it's a challenge. that go off screen. Oh, is this still okay? Got it. Okay. That was still okay. The annoying thing about this game, now that I think about it, so this is the maximum amount of health you can have, but you get another energy tank. Which... It sucks because in the last fight, another energy tank would go like a very long way into ensuring success. Like... I'm guessing there was just a limitation in terms of the number or something, but... Yeah, like... It sucks. <laughs> Challenge the player. What, you expected seven energy tanks? At least the missiles, yeah. Like, they are what they are. That's the other thing, like, I have to make sure that my supply of them is, is like, near max. Because I'm gonna need every last one. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, do you want me to cite missiles? I'm sorry for having a different accent, okay? Missiles. I'll say it in Spanish instead. to waste too many. Okay, 156. Now for the energy tank that doesn't- Gah! Shit. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Go back. I wanted to get it. It doesn't count for it. Fuck. Wait, there's two. There's two energy tanks that don't count for anything. That's even more annoying. Okay, hang on. I gotta wait again. There we go. Is that so hard? At least I got out normally. I'm amazed that I'm getting some of the trickier maneuvers down, but then some of the more basic ones I'm fucking up. Like, how does that work? Oh boy, yeah, this is... I hate this part. Oh shit. Yep, that. Yep. Oh, fuck. This is the last nightmarish part of, of the, uh, the run. Why is this here? Like, honestly. Can I... Yes, okay. No, that's not gonna work. Ugh, this is so annoying. No, fucking... Oh. Why do the blocks knock you back? Oh my god. Okay, this is- this is not good. This is where the rust is showing. Oh, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Fucking pain in the ass. Ugh. Uh, oh, there. That made me sweat a little. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait, no. Okay. All right. One more tricky maneuver. And then the rest is just execution. Well, the rest is surviving the end encounter. Oh, 
Let's see if... Oh, it's been so long. This is like a tricky move to pull off. Oh! <laughs> okay, hang on. I did do it. didn't do the second one, but that's fine. All right. That's it. Now there's... I mean, uh, this could delay me a little, but... I'm not... What the fu- Oh, right, I needed to shoot it. Forgot. I fucked up. Ugh, it's okay. I'm still gonna do it quicker than I otherwise would. I was supposed to stay in ball form and then just get myself out of it. A very healthy amount of rockets. Oh no, I, I'm not saying that word again. That's it, I'm, it's ruined for me. Heaven forbid I don't sound like an American. Missile? What is that? Get out of the way. At least it's being kind to me. I always remember just stressing at the end because I just didn't have enough, and this is a very healthy amount of them. So, it wasn't kind to me at the start, where it made me waste my time, but I guess I made up for it in the end. content with this. <laughs> All this does is just let your, your shot travel further, that's about it. But it's required, otherwise you can't get in. Ah, oh, this, this game. Oh, it's being very nice to me right now. What is going on? Making sure I have 
optimal amount. I'm not taking any gambles and running out. Health is going to be enough of a problem. Alright, finale. Wish me luck. I either win or we have to start again. <laughs> Fucking scary, man. I mean, they definitely got the ambience right. If one of those things grab me, that's it, I'm fucked. That's how bad it is. The thing that can happen is just a little down as you're going, it just drains your health. I'm gonna have. Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. I might have to kill a Metroid. I've lost a lot of health just from the stage. Okay, well... That's a, that's a bit better. Oh! Okay. That, that's as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Alright. Wish me luck, this is fucked. I hate this. I hate this so much. So you have to shoot these things, right? And, uh, your health is periodically fucking drained. Just because these things keep hitting you. And if you don't hit them quick enough, they, re they, uh, they recover in health. Legitimately stressed. Oh, fuck off. And the, the knockback is fucking insane. It's as bad as it looks. This, this part here is the worst. It just it fucking sucks how annoying it is. Oh, no. I don't think I have the health for this anymore. I need to be, like, as careful as I can be. Like, what a- what a garbage last fight. I'm sorry. Like, I- I hate it. It's pretty much- you have to avoid spam and there's so much RNG to it it's not funny. <laughs> oh shit. This is what I mean by I'm not 
a hundred percent convinced you can finish this without the ice beam. Okay, got it. Oh. Okay. Shit. <laughs> it's been way too long. Okay, it's alright. It doesn't have to be amazing, just has to be on time. Okay. Not great escape, but I think I think I got it. I'm confident I got it. You fulfilled your mission. I will revive peace and space, but it may be invaded by the other Metroid, whatever that means. Pray for a true peace in space. Yep, best ending. There we go. So unless you got a good ending, you would never see that. <laughs> I can't believe I did that uh, first attempt. Given I haven't done it in years and everything went well. I don't know what time I got ultimately. Um, the VOD says an hour and 14 minutes, which doesn't seem right, but maybe when you take in-game lag into account, it comes to under an hour. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this was one of the first NES games that, well, the difficult ones that I was like, I need to learn how to finish this. Because it bothered me that when I played this once upon a time, it was just that difficult that I just could never finish it. So I learned how to do it. Because I had all that spare time in my youth. So, hey, I'm fairly certain I got everything, but it, if I did miss something, eh, you know, what are you going to do? It's, I just went with muscle memory and it worked, so. I did forget a couple things, but I did go back for it, so. Yeah, this was uh, me playing through the NES version of Metroid. And at some point, I will uh, play Zero Mission. So this is a nice little thing into it, because Zero Mission is a remake of this game, and it's uh, the definitive way to play the story first game, if that makes sense. So. The nice thing about finishing this game is my reward is I get to play as this Samus now, if I want to do the, game, the whole thing again, but, you know. I'll run around a little bit, but you have all the powers from the get-go. So this is only something you get to do if you get the best ending. So I'll, I'll run around for a little bit whilst I do the, uh, the close to the VOD, so yeah. Hope you did enjoy this. It did take this a bit more serious, because I really wanted to get it, so... I was happy, um, that some of the trickier maneuvers in the run worked fine, like... Where I messed up seemed to be the simpler stuff, and I don't know how that works, but whatever, it's fine. Got there in the end. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, if you're watching this later on YouTube. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, retro stuff, well, feel free to reach out with a comment if you want to suggest something. And I'll consider it within reason, or do the thumbs up button clicking algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. Thank you to those that have been doing that. It does support the channel a lot, and it lets me know the kind of stuff that people want to see, pretty much, because I do play a variety of stuff. So, 
I'm gonna say that as like the end of it, but I'll run around this Samus for a little bit longer because it's kind of satisfying to do so. To be honest, I I'm not sure. If I don't think there's a second ending. I've never really tried, but I don't. I don't think there is. Like, what's she gonna do? <laughs> The, the big reveal is the suit coming off, so like what, she's gonna put it back on? And then it comes full circle? So... I kinda like the green hair. It's a cool contrast. But yeah, I mean, I think overall, this game is great. Um, because no, it, it is short once you know what to do, but until that point, just getting good at the platforming and trying to trying to do your best, you know, because a lot of games depended on a high score for the replay factor, right? But I think. I don't know about you, but as a kid, I didn't really give a crap about high school. <laughs> there was never a competition between my brother and I, ever. Like, it was always coming up with different rules to make the game harder. Um, just stuff like that. So this, this is cool because, you know, how quickly you finish the game affects the ending, and... Gives you something to aim for. Ma makes you want to get better at the game to see that good ending. So, yeah. To be honest, when I was doing... Okay, see, this is what happens in this room. Sometimes that thing that I use doesn't appear. And then you're fucked. Like, to get up... This is what I was 100% expecting to happen. To get up, you have to do one of these. Hang on. Okay, well, <laughs> that. Which I pulled off any- okay, whatever. Like, I pulled off the hardest moves. Oh, but you know what? No, that's probably not accurate because I have the high jump. Yeah, that's not indicative of how that should have gone. But that's what I would have had to have done if the game fucked me over. Which it did not, thankfully. Alright, anyway. The VOD will end here, and I think this is a good thumbnail. But then again, I might spoil that I succeeded. Ah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Alright, we're gonna take an intermission. And, uh, we'll return with some other stuff. But, I'll say it again. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Pop into Twitch sometime. <laughs> Alright.